here or anywhere in this country. Okay, y'all. I don't go there. Like, I don't go there to like, like, yeah, finance. I'm going to move in a minute. Listen, we get ready to cure. start this. If we just got done doing a lecture don't in Houston, Texas. Don't Listen, play. we got you the squad. Brother Todd is right here. Go, cool, brother. You got yeah, Brother Todd. We got the brothers back there filming. You got yeah. brothers filming. Y'all can just so get your B-rolls. Right. You know what I'm saying? No, I want y'all in here too, but this is B-rolls. Our brothers is over here on a documentary right now. So mm -hmm. I'm going to leave them in a minute. Mm -hmm. yeah. So listen, the lecture was off the hook in Houston. It was packed. We had mm -hmm. people we had from Ohio. You can film, bro. It's all okay. good. No, this one needs to be charged. I'm, I'm okay. Charged we had people from Houston. I mean, what? From Ohio. What is it? Florida. Pennsylvania. New Jersey. Pennsylvania. Um, what else we have somebody coming in? Memphis, Alabama. Tennessee, Alabama. Alabama. Yeah. Listen, we had people coming from all over. It was crazy. Like I said, yeah, babies I'm, in the house. Babies in the house. We had little JJ in the house. He was oh, yeah, he was man. hustling the Sabir Bay's water, the Shabir Bay's buttons, man. It was crazy. So it was really good. Like I said, brother Taj tore down. I don't know where brother Abdullah. We still sit in the hotel. But we have Brother Abdullah going into etymology, you know, what he does. And um, listen, I just want to sit back and let these brothers, brother and sister that was there tell y'all what they thought about it. I told you people came in from all over. Where my brother at? Where my, what other brother at? X. Let me show y'all something real quick. They doing, they shoot a doc. So I'm just pick this up and show y'all how they got the lights set up for us back there. The doc. So them brothers coming with their lights camera action so listen y'all can get some testimonies man real quick not from me not from taj but from miss ella renee say it again miss ella renee x la lakers dancer okay mm -hmm. woo -woo. <laughs> got my man steve over here what's up all right listen i'm gonna just move out the way i'm gonna run upstairs go grab some for my man let them give their testimony Brother Todd's going to tell you what happened. We're going to shoot and let Steve say what he thought. If y'all like, leave a comment above on the bottom of the Sabir Bay show. All right? Take it away. Let me put the sister up Bang. first. What do you think? Goodness, this was like power packed. Um, first time I've been able to sit with some amazing um, uh, people that just, this is like ugh, the story, the era, everything. There was young, old, in between, um, those with a lot of knowledge, some just beginning in this journey, but we just got the breakdown of, of what words are and how important they are, what the law is, who we are as people, the power that we have, um, comprehending who we are and um, the fact that, that we have, we've had for, for as long as that we could ever remember, our rights being taken from us and we didn't even know it because we don't know who we, who we are really. And so to be able to get have that given back to us uh, just in just a few words to know exactly what belongs to you. It was, it was never taken, but from up in here. And once that was restored, then now that empowers you. That's what I got tonight. Like I, I, whatever I thought I knew just opened up a whole nother book. And just literally, all I could do was just, just keep writing, keep writing, keep writing, because there's so much to research, and we cannot be afraid to uh, look these things up in a dictionary. Um, to carry your books with you to go to, go get your dictionary on law. Go get your, just have a dictionary, so that you can understand what you are and understand what you are being taught. So that's all I got to say, because this I can keep mm -hmm. going and going mm -hmm. and going. So go ahead. If we do some good, fine. Go ahead, Steve. Oh. Um, I enjoyed it a lot, mostly because I got to help out. So I got to mm. sit behind the stands and you know, hand out all the information that is needed. Uh, what I liked about it was it was Abdullah Tosh and Sabir. Absolutely. And so the transition of it was perfect because um, language was the beginning. It was like you had to understand the terminology, you had to understand the words, the etymology, and without the beginning of that, you probably wouldn't understand the rest of it. And that's what I liked, how it started from there. Um, connotative linguistics, denotative, what we had to know about um, definitions that are being used in a legal perspective, like 
United States and um, West America and things like that, that that will give you a better understanding of what was really being played on us. So from there, um, we transitioned from Abdullah to Mataj got on. Then that's when everything started to make sense because then now I finally got an understanding of why history and law had to go together. It like it had to because there's no separation. Yeah. So and I, I forget what is you say if if you if you don't know your history you can't figure out where you went wrong. If you're if you're missing one, meaning that you can learn law procedure. Uh, processes you know this, Steve? if it's not given to you with the history together you're handicapped you know but they know that if you don't know that they can play you and this is where scholars on our side uh, so-called black leaders make their fiat from the Romans by making sure that they don't do that now the corporate entity operatives give them a 501c3 kickback mm. and tell them to tell the believers that this is for teaching the word of the Lord. They just don't tell them it's the Lords of London right. under the mm. Treaty of Verona. Yeah. That's right. right. You see, and so what happens is our people are extremely intelligent and resourceful, but for some reason they still can't yeah. compete. Meaning that someone else can go up a hill in their car with a four cylinder and we need a 10 cylinder and we're still behind. Mm. And we still can't understand why we got to do things 10 times harder when we're supposedly so spiritual. Wrong feeling. Because right. we don't know that we've been handicapped from day one because we can't read. That's exactly that was, that was that's, that's what I got. In the language. I was going to say that's what I got out of everything that you mm. have brought out that mm. is it's education in the word. Mm -hmm. And it's in that word that's mm -hmm. in the culture. Mm -hmm. And if you don't under you, you're not a people if you don't understand your culture. Exactly. Which is why you have groups of people working to take our culture mm -hmm. because they were not a people. They were now, not. What you're identifying and what we need to know collectively, we're identifying one of the functions of colonialism. Mm. A colonist is to politics what a leech is to biology. Oh, wow. They correlate. So the things that you see take place in the political realm are actually reflections of the studies of nature and machinery. Right. So European colonial operations, that's why it's also called what? Blood sucking. Wow. Blood sucking. Right. Yeah. Which is interesting, which yeah. is interesting because now if we start, we talk about culture and, and in culture we have a spiritual group of people who've been removed even from their spiritual essence and in doing so then you remove them from their culture now they are food and so that they don't recognize it they have their leader guys talk about it's racism so they don't say what it really is you're now food right with the vampires yes exactly now, but you know we've had movies that have brought that out yes over that's time why they, that's why they can put it under your nose right because let me tell you there's another there's a movie that came out i want to say it last four mm -hmm. or five years and mm -hmm. it was called cloud atlas and i don't know if mm -hmm. anybody but yeah. cloud atlas showed They're in the middle you. yes and literally she says they are feeding us ourselves mm -hmm. and that's exactly what's happening now, oh, oh look at this now did you notice that when I think it, they, they uh, so-called legalized it, so-called, 1969 uh, abortion, mm -hmm. and it's based on the Dred Scott case. And then, did you notice that all these abortion clinics all over the country, that they don't have these funerals? No. What did you just say? Because they're sent to the fast food market. Right. They're all in the burgers. That's right. Okay. They're in the burgers. You're eating your own baby. Exactly. Now, it look is up, listed, but it's look true. Up, look it up. is true. And this, you, you all, look up Rabbi Finkelstein. And he tells you bluntly 
okay. So look, I'm going back in time real quick. Reverend? <laughs> so, so I think I was maybe 10 years old when this movie came out. It was um, Silent, uh, Silent Green. Mm -hmm. Remember Silent Green? It's on you so, again. Right. So now we've, we've had several films that lead up to that. Mm -hmm. So now we're dealing with children's film, Ants. Mm -hmm. That was another one mm -hmm. where they were being flooded out mm -hmm. and then fed. Mm -hmm. to the uh, so-called, mm -hmm. uh, what was it, locusts or grasshoppers mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yes. This so is what they happens. Keep, it's, a, it's a common theme. Now, look at the gangs of New York mm -hmm. that are in contract with the corporate entity, United States Corporation, that was registered in France, bankrupted, then repeated okay. in Guam, Puerto Rico, et cetera, all these shell United States. The gangs of New York um, made contracts to enforce the Unum Sanctum policy. The gangs of New York become what you call police departments. Mm -hmm. Now, and so the main target is to kill, suppress jail for the public, for the private jail systems, the Aboriginal people of the land, under the guise of being law. Right. Not under law, right. under the guise of being law. So they'll see you, so uh, like say uh, certain medical facilities need so many organs so they go find excuse to kill them they steal the organs and the body goes right. if the, if right. the, if the, if the family right does not right. get the body it goes to the burger uh, places right and now anyone for those of you who may question this and I know some of you are scientists etc although many of you have no access if you did a test on the burgers that people buy in the supermarkets, and particularly in the so-called fast food stores, you will guarantee find human DNA in all those burgers. Wow. Okay. Guaranteed. So let's go back there because you said something that was key, and I didn't want that to be missed. Mm -hmm. You said uh, abortion was legalized in what did you say, 1969? It's a food stock. Right. Source. However, I like what you said. I, I, I hit there when you said, "Why are there not any funerals? Where is the the um, the yes. uh, where do we the disposing of those bodies? Yes. Where is that? Yes. Right. Why do you think and that they're so particular with collecting what they're calling medical waste, right. and they have plastic liners that they definitively separate where they amputate people's legs in different parts of their bodies, and they carefully package it." And they and they and they put and it they in the refrigerator mm -hmm. and um, but you know what I want to say burgers are not what they think they are right so I'm gonna say this had to be somewhere in about um, I'm gonna say somewhere between eighty six and ninety two mm -hmm. okay um, there were facilities that that were discovered that they had not disposed of the bodies of That's these why. of these fetuses and they were in black plastic bags just mm -hmm. just like piles and piles and they were trying mm -hmm. to figure out how come where's where are they being disposed and nobody mm -hmm. could answer mm -hmm. where they were they being weren't disposed. Going to. right they, exactly exactly so then we're seeing how this loop is mm -hmm. and how um right now this is really interesting because you know our own bodies are not designed to eat our own body exactly. that's where your cancers come from exactly mm -hmm. so therefore you have the you have the breakdown of the brain and you cannot that's eat. what they call may cow disease you seen it? <laughs> Just like so. So here's and and why this is so important mm -hmm. is because that's why we're not able to process. And it's part of why you see the increased Alzheimer's. Exactly. Wow. So now here's it. Here's now. So here that's we put, aside from the looming. Right. Box. Right. Right. So right. Mm -hmm. So now we're putting. Now we're putting why it is so. Um, why the increase on eating natural food? Okay. Uh, uh, let's just say uh, vegetarian, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's from the earth. It's not of mm -hmm. yourself, mm -hmm. right? You're not eating your own body, you, right? So therefore, now we're gonna we're gonna have to um, pull the price up, so mm -hmm. you can't afford it. But if you want to act like you you're a vegetarian, we'll give you something that looks like vegetarian. Mm -hmm. We're gonna call that and, GMO. And toxic you anyway. Right, right. And, and we search really hard to find anything that's non-GMO, so-called. And this is back King Alfred. It's wow. part of the Unum Sanctum Genocide Policy. Oh, wow. But they must present it in a manner that gives the appearance that they're serving you or advancing you. Right. And then they need black 
leader guys to convince you that they're spiritual leaders and their job is really to pet the lamb while everybody else got a sweater. Right, right. And the lamb's always in the corner going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One of these days, while you get fleeced, they're feeding you ridiculous race arguments, racist to human species, keep in mind, to keep you off of nationality. Right, 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 right. Because that's your estate source. Keep in mind this. If one has no right of claim in honor to your mothers and fathers, right. in law, right. you have no right of claim of estate. This is called, you all write this down, S T E S C H E A T. This is what the corporate operatives do in all of our states. This is why you see, um, for people who, who don't really understand this, let's make it so you can understand this. Like when you see Asiatics, um, particularly in Western Hemisphere, that are under definitively the Christian black codes, say like um, Sammy Davis Jr., Red Fox, and you can go on and on with all of these wealthy Asiatics that end up being poor. And the Inquisition Revenue Services reincorporated as the Internal Revenue Service, 1913 to 16, come and steals their estate. And a lot of times, family have to come around and friends to pay for their burials. Right. And you can look it back in all the so-called big-time singers, uh, musicians, actors and actresses over and over again. And others amongst them that make packs with them, they already got contracts on them and insurance policies on them on top of the contract so they make fiat whether they live or die. And then when they get to the point where they can make the corporate operatives more wealthy, they kill them. Right. You know, that's interesting that you're even saying that because, so um, I had an in-law. Mm -hmm. um, she, um, she was like, uh, she was 99. Mm -hmm. And she had a piece of property and it became, it went into probate. Mm -hmm. So there was no contest. It was a, a, two children, mm -hmm. son and daughter. Mm -hmm. The son said, I'm giving it to my older sister because it's rightfully hers. Mm -hmm. it was in probate for a year. They did not want to give that property to the daughter. They wanted the two of them to fight. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, it appears that maybe he might have a legal share in that. And the brother says, now mind you, they're in their 80s. Yeah. These, are, the, these, these yeah. are adult children. Mm -hmm. He says, I don't have a problem. Just give it to my sister. Mm -hmm. he, they didn't want to give it to the sister. Because... Because the barristers, Excuse keep in mind, this is what they know. The estate, and the reason it goes into probate, because you have no trust. Right. So, so, so watch this. Yeah. It, interesting you're saying that. So in order to get that out of probate, they had to come to another party to, to create a, party. Right? Yeah. To create a, a mortgage, right? Debt. Right. Now, mortgage means dead Pledge. There you go. Contract is dead, right. and your body becomes the pledge. Okay, it now rolls your estate. Now watch okay, out. Can I watch stop y'all for one minute? Yeah. I'm gonna get Steve's input on the next show. Who's <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> getting into it? I know he's getting into <laughs> it, but the brothers want to interview Todd. So yeah. 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 hold up. No, no. I want to get his input now. Can we switch places? Yes, yeah. absolutely. And, uh, go ahead, switch over, and because I want to get everybody's input so everybody can see what went down in Houston. So listen, T Steve, what did you get out of that, brothers? If y'all want, y'all come over and tell us what y'all thought about the lecture in Houston. Let's get it in. This is what we're doing. This, this is the last night in Houston. So go ahead, Steve. Yeah, when I was talking about the transitioning, how it went in, it flowed perfectly. And, you know, it was everything was spoken plainly. It was, and it was, everything was done out on a board, so it wasn't just speaking. So you had some some um, visuals there. Um, what I like best was the clarification, because not a lot of things. Get clarified, something just gets said, they go over somebody's head, you don't know what somebody's talking about. So what I like is y'all take the time, stop, explain. Did we sell any paperwork? 
You don't sell paperwork. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know, Todd. You know, if people say, yeah, they well, say we sell paperwork, Todd. Yeah. I don't sell. So. I don't know. I, I just wanted to make sure. We ain't sell no paperwork, right? Nah. I, I just wanted to know. Nah. But we did have out of darkness there, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, though. But go ahead, bro. Yeah, so um, the whole the whole atmosphere was fine. It was clear, cut, dry. You know, no mistakes. There's never any mistakes. Everything is very understandable. And everybody kept coming. Like I said, I was at the, the stands selling out the DVDs. Everybody was coming up after each little break. You know, I need this, 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 and this. That's, this, that's this, what this, we do. This, 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 this Black Slaw Dictionary went out. Yeah. All the books went out. I don't know. I write you a book? I don't know what I can do. He flew in from, he flew in from Boston. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Boston. Told you, we had people coming in. Shout out to all my fam that's in San Antonio, man, that's looking at this. He just texted me and told me they live, man. So yeah. we had people coming in from all over, man. Like, yeah. this is what we do. Abdullah's upstairs sleep somewhere. I don't even know what the heck that old man is doing. You know, he falls asleep too early for us. <laughs> but anyway, we got some other brothers that's in here. We, we my brother that's working in the hotel. We just gave him some jewels. Unfortunately, we are scheduled to permit us to see uh, the election. No, come on, man. Come on over yeah. here, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get these brothers in? I want to get I'll these brothers I'll be brief. Unfortunately, ah. we are scheduled to permit us to see the election in its entirety. But we plan to pick our brother's brain in this interview. <clears> so I'll be able to come back with a more thorough uh, response like on the impact. And so I'm just grateful, you know, uh, that you know, the brothers out here trying to share. share yeah, man, that's this is what we do. Yes, this is what we do. So what do you think about it, man? Um, like you said, I wasn't able to see everything. But from what I got, um, basically, a lot of stuff I already knew because I did a lot of research on the Moorish Science Temple. Um, I'm still, you know, I'm still making up my own opinions of everything. I'm still kind of coming up with my own conclusions of how I feel personally about everything that, that's presented. Um, I don't disagree with anything. Um, I'm not saying, I, you know, be, be honest, just being honest. Um, you know, it, it was it was good information and um, I'm still learning. That's what I'm still saying. learning. So. And you know, so deep, the brother that that was over there, I can't think of his name, I don't know where he yet. But he asked me, so what is, why do people always say, well, so what is your religion? <laughs> that's the, that's the key thing. He has asked me that question. I'm like, brother, we invented all religions, so every religion is ours. Islam just means peace. That's all Islam means. So mm-hmm. the brother was asking me the question, like the young 14 year old had a question when we were there. He said, um, uh, what is their religion? You know, and I had to go back up there to explain that Islam just means peace. So all the religions are really ours. You know what I mean? But people take it and don't really understand what Islam means. And when they mean Islam, they thinking of Sunni Islam, blah, you know, they mm-hmm. look they're looking at that instead of looking at the mm-hmm. science behind it. So it's the science behind Islam, you know. And like I said, and even in Ethiopia, they say salam. So are they Muslim? No, they're Christian. But it's the language. You follow me? Mm-hmm. So that's that's how you have to teach peace. people. You have to exact it means peace. So we have to take our time and explain this to people, not to be over their heads, but actually because this is new. Just as I was saying when I was doing a lecture, when you're doing yoga, I never did yoga before. But when I was doing yoga, the sister had me bending. No lie, Taj. I was bending back. Like, dude, like you would bend this way. Mm. I was bending that way. I can't do it now. But to show you slowly but surely how she was moving my Mm. muscles to move a certain way. It's the same thing with people's brain. Like when you can't give it all to them right now. They lose their minds. And it's like, dude, it's a turn off. You know what I mean? Because they really don't comprehend it. They say they understand it. Like people looking at this think they understand it, but they really don't. It's a process you go through because we have 12 years of brainwashing camp. development and then six more years, maybe in a college of brainwashing and things that we're saying is law is not law. You see what I'm saying? We don't need to understand that policies are not laws. Ordinances are not laws. Regulations are not laws. So it's something they have to grow into. You know what I mean? And But we're here to keep doing what we're doing so people can get it and make it plain like Malcolm said. That's what we're here for. Mm-hmm. So we can respond to brothers like the brother in the hotel saying, oh, brother, what's your religion? Or the young brother that was at the lecture of 14. Oh, what are their religion? What's their religion? This is what he was saying. I'm like, uh, I got to respond to that. You see what I'm saying? Because most people just say, just Islam and keep it moving. I practice all religions because religion means what, Taj? What does religion mean? 
It's cosmogony and astrology. That's what it is. And it means to realign yourself back to yeah. what? Your Bring principles you of your ancient mothers and there fathers. It's the science that runs the planet Earth and a study of the universe and the elements and their relationship to nature and to all life forms on the planet. That's religion. That's religion. And it's a, it is what? Established disciplines that are ancient. They're not confusing. Oh. And this is the other deal. Uh, very often people will say, what's your religion? While they themselves don't even know what religion is. It's like someone saying to you, what's your money? That's true. <laughs> and then you ask them what money is and they'll pull out Federal Reserve notes, <laughs> which isn't money. Right. And they do the same thing with dogmata that they think is religion. So when people ask questions like that, is that's part of the training. Because what they're really saying is, to you when they do that you're dealing with facts you're not so be dealing with facts yep. you're stepping in god's territory mm -hmm. see because the training has been don't deal with knowledge only don't deal with care. beliefs that we give you and when you step over that line you're offensive so when they start making statements like that or questions like that it's really what you call um projected dominant statement meaning that they're trying to dominate the position by simply accusing saying you don't have a right to knowledge because you don't believe in the God when you just not even a subject matter and not even know what God is nope you know don't even know its dramatic origin and that is contemporary again, in the its dramatic origin it's not even ancient on the planet I hope y'all getting something out of this do you understand what I'm saying to you and it, scholars know this but the followers don't know this. This is why, again, why a lot of people in positions of power will try to imply that people who deal with knowledge are atheists or anti-God or don't like Jesusness and all this kind of stuff to try to shut down the people they're teaching because it will liberate them from them. You know, like let's let's do this simple. This is a, a lesson, very simple, and this is back to what we talk about: how simple it is really to educate people. Like this. How many people throw the word God around and don't know that to the Romans it actually means gold, oil, and drugs? And that's how they run the world. And it also means government ordinance departments. And when it's used in the sense of the books, it is got come from good G U T and G U T T, which is actually German, which means good. So when people are saying God is good, what they're saying is good is good. To them, they're talking about the creative forces. And then them same people will turn around and say, Satan is the God of this world. And then if you ask them, well, why are you always talk about Satan? You believe in Satan? No, we don't believe in Satan. We believe in God. Then you just say Satan is God of this world and you keep talking about him. What do you mean you don't believe in him? You do. Stop. And then you run up judging other people. When you really watch people that play these games, they're depending on the average person's inability to read mm. or to use basic intelligence. Mm. See, because in dogmata, intelligence and common sense is discarded. And when you step out of that fence and start dealing with divine reasoning, notice how they get upset. They actually get mean and angry with you for thinking for yourself. <laughs> As if you are offending creation they do you start using your divine reasoning power and watch their eyebrows get different and all the love that they're supposed to be showing you in the name of the lordness and all of a sudden you start the name of the Lord. and they're sticking toothpicks in you your god ain't good as my godness and you ain't saved damn you know if this is love don't give me no more you know <laughs> And they all it's do real, it in the name, right. in the name of religion, while mm -hmm. not even knowing what religion is. They just say it because everybody says it. Um, now, again, um, God came into use on the planet uh, roughly just before and thereafter the um, get a dictionary or listen. fourth century, after get a the fourth century, and it's more a concoction of the priesthood of Rome. Mm -hmm. Just like um, worship is, is a system of dogmatic operations introduced by the priesthood, 
but does not really exist in the ancient world. But yet they make it retroactive. And the truth is, it isn't. And all scholars really know that. And, 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 and it's sort of like they get upset if we say, like, what we're talking right now, if we're just being blunt and tell the truth. Because what it does, it upsets the stability of powerful institutions who have been perpetrating this fraud on humanity for generations. And, and they, don't, they don't recognize truth as authority. They recognize authority as truth. Mm. Do, you, do you understand what I'm saying? I got one question, if I could ask. Sure, uh, sure, well, bro. Something what you were saying earlier um, is that you practice all religions. So if you practice all religions, it's helped. Like you're practicing cosmogony. See, but then you got to know what religion is. Hold on a second. I want to hear but, what he's finished. Let me, let me you know, well, like, if you practice in all religions, well, I guess my, I guess it's a question. Um, what is? That's why you got to know what religion is. Hold up, I want to hear the question. Let me hear the question out real quick. I want to hear everything out before Wait. I respond if, to if it. You, if, you, if you say if you say that you practice all religions, I mean, I guess do you do you go? I mean, I'm, do you go against? Religion, because I'm kind of—I guess I'm just kind of confused of what, okay. as far as what I'm hearing. You heard what he said, though, right? You right. heard what Taj said. Yes. Is what is it, Taj? Cosmology, yeah. right? Okay. Almost. So now, I'm not against no religion. If we created all the religions, all the religions is mine. So no matter what I accept, if my religion, but my nationality is different, I we created the religions. If if I say Tawaha, though, you wouldn't understand what I'm saying. That's Orthodox right. Christianity, true Christianity. If I say Islam, I'm just saying peace. Do that sound like I'm against something? No, right? No. I'm not against anything, right? No. So I'm only showing you that what he's saying about what religion is, we don't understand what religion means. We thinking it from, what they call it, what's the word that they use? They say about the religion, they call it the clubism, whatever. It's a club, dogmatic clubism. That's what you're looking at. I'm not talking about that. I'm a spiritual being. So all we just put the labels on these things but all of this it's mine you see what i'm saying no matter what religion i pick i observe the sabbath you see what i'm saying that's what i would do on a saturday so sure. i would deal with islam on a friday salat whatever but all the religions are mine islam only means peace is it one so is it one god Tawahado only different. only means one also there's only one god it's only one islam practicing Orthodox is Orthodox Christianity says God is one too. Right. So it's one. That's it. And, and then what this is where now let's explain. This is how this answers your question and his too. And this is what the priests know as an example. For the masses, when they're saying one God, right? Then a child would say, Well, what when Muslims make the Hajj and they go counterclockwise in circumambulation Kaaba. rituals seven times counterclockwise. Yeah. Yeah. And then in the Bible, in the book of Revelation, where you got the seven golden candlesticks, what relation does that have to each other? And name the different candlesticks. And what do they represent? Mm -hmm. Now the priesthood is in a dilemma because they got to tell the truth. Well, you see, the seven candlesticks are symbolic of the seven Eloa. The seven Eloa are collectively one called Elohim. Yep. So Elohim is one of seven. Now you see the distinction between the science and the spookism. Mm -hmm. So the person who doesn't know, they're arguing one God and don't even know what they're talking exactly. about. Because they don't even know what the seven candlesticks are. Do you, do you understand? And the priesthood ain't talking. Now, and what happens, and when Sabir said he's practiced all religion, because he knows the truth, that all of them lead to cosmology. Yep. The believers don't know that because they're taking them in their anthropomorphic form and don't know that. No different than, like, say, you know, the babies, like when your children were babies, right? And they're looking at cartoons and they have like squirrels or something with big bright eyes looking like little children and they're talking. And they might have a little monkey with a fez on and they're talking. And, <laughs> you know, that's called anthropomorphism. Now, when you're talking about uh, Jesus, that's amp anthropomorphism, right? So the anthropo, that is the human form or an animal form. 
And then the morphing is where they transfer the energies or the representation of characteristics from an object or a thing into the human form for the expression to children. But when you grow up, you're supposed to put them childish things away. Yep. The priesthood yep. keep the adults on that degree. Yes. That's where dogma comes from. Exactly. Are we clear? Where religion is really the science, as an example. Like, like say, if we, if we had a board right now, right? And I put a nucleus on that board, then I put these oval tracks one way the other way, and then I put proton electron, right? Man. Now that's atom with the electrons and neutrons right. rotating around the sun, which is the nucleus, atomic. Same as the bigger universe on a smaller scale, and yet that is the father of all life. That's atom, which is the father of all life for an adult. For children, it's Adam and Eve. Then they have a man figure with a leaf around his lower, uh, around his uh, uh, keisters and stuff, right? <laughs> he said keisters. Yeah. <laughs> Todd is and, funny. He said keisters. Yeah, yeah. And so, but when the child gets older, you take them from the childish things and give them science. Exactly. So Adam is that structure, you know, just above the quark. And then the energy that rotates around it just like the planets rotate around the sun, they never touch it, but yet they give life to it. And it has a positive and negative forces. Yes. Adam and Eve. Eve is the evolution of evolve, all life. Evolution. Evolve. As it evolves. Evolve evolution. So Adam is a masculine principle, mm -hmm. just as the sun is in astrology. And then the moon is the feminine principle, and Venus feminine principle as in what the universe and when you understand it all of your major that's why they'll tell you scientists and anthropologists will tell you all your major religions have the same root yeah what they don't do is tell you what the root is they'll just make that statement without qualification I just told you what it is so now when you grow up and stop being a little boy and girl <laughs> You don't start that's getting the, angry. Time. That's why they tell you have to be born again because they want to keep you a child. And with a new mind. No, they want to keep yeah. you a child. That's yes. why I say you got to be born again. We got to keep yes. you at a child's state of mind. Stay there. So that's you why be born again, okay? opportunists get angry when this information comes out <laughs> exactly. because they can't take the widow's pennies anymore. Exactly. See, when you have adults that are still in the child degrees or anthropomorphic demonstration without qualification, then the, I talk Jesus this, this morning. I got a personal relationship with Jesus. I got a cell phone. <laughs> you know, I got a call him on the phone. Then they start right? speaking in tongues and stuff. Right. And you ask him, can you interpret it? It's not for you to know. Then what you tell me for? It's not for me to know. You can't even interpret your own stuff. So don't even come with that. Oh, you got a devil. Then they start that kind of stuff. Right. You ain't saved. And they, it is, that's BS. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Um, and the real deal is, the reverends know it, the imams know it, the rabbis know it, all priests know the anthropomorphic origin of the personification of energies and powers in the universe for little children. That's fact, it's not made up. And for control purposes, they keep the adults on that child level. Yep. And that's why they conflict with this information. They think you're doing something different. They think you're attacking their God. They don't even know what God is. Oh, listen, we get it. We get it. It's like three o'clock. Hey, y'all. Listen, no, listen. I hope y'all got. I hope y'all got some good brothers. Great dude, this interview yeah. with us. We got a great. Shut it down. We just wanted to give y'all a taste of what was going on tonight. Love you all. Do your research. Don't believe what brother and Todd and I say here. Just play this back a thousand times. Yeah. Do your due diligence, man, and and find out this information for yourself for yourself period this, this is, is what, what we, we always do. say and and you notice for years don't accept what we say but have enough respect if you disagree to prove us a liar <laughs> i say that all the time prove us a liar that's what we say you know but don't 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 give us your opinion do your research to prove us a liar and then you'll come back and you'll be teaching us then you're in harmony. If they if they're humble enough, they'll come back and tell yeah, us. They're not arrogant enough. Yeah, because a lot of them. Because arrogant. even the child, because anybody that seeks it will find it. It's exactly. not even though the Europeans 
have operationally under the Unum Sanctum policies, um, Indexus Librorum Expurgatorius and Indexus Prohibitorum, which is the policies that operate on the planet for the last 300 years, all across the planet is not absent anywhere. There's still enough left that when you begin to search, because they could not wipe it out, that you will find the truth. And when you start looking, it will find you. Yep. Boom. So listen, y'all, we got to wrap it up. Get with the brothers over here because it's like three o'clock in the morning. We don't stop. Out of darkness, y'all. Got to get out of darkness, man. If y'all didn't get that, you're missing out. Oh, don't. We're going to do a second one. Oh, yeah. We're working yeah. on part two. They know about the part two of yeah. Out of Darkness. It's going to yeah. be Amadeus Christ. Um, I'm probably directing the second one and producing it. But it's gonna be crazy hot. We're gonna have the Ethiopian community in there. We're gonna yes. build it on live. And look stuff. for the next cover. It's, it's gonna, gonna have it's gonna be hot. The other cover little sister be and little brother on the cover. Dope. Yes, it's gonna be dope. Probably mm -hmm. front and back. Mm -hmm. be dope. Good. Have it on the front and the back. So listen, we gotta get out of here, man. Get with the brothers. Because it's like again, three o'clock in the morning. He gotta roll out. I roll out from Texas on Monday. They're leaving tomorrow. So watch out for the DVD. We just finished up tonight. The triple light tour. Uh, hopefully, we get to your town. I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. We get a good sponsor, maybe so. I'm gonna say peace to everybody. Share this video, y'all. Peace. peace, one love. Lessons for the night. Peace. And thank the brothers and sisters that came in and talked about the film, man. Yeah. All right, one love.